Alright, what's going on, everyone? This is from Sierra. I've seen some variation of that screen a lot here on Let's Play with Brings over the years, but usually not this creepy. This is a Lighthouse, the Dark Being. And, uh, you know, let's run the credits while we talk a bit about this game. Looks so cozy, but the music suggests otherwise. Turn this down for right now. I think I clicked out of the credits when I did that. Hold on. Let's get that up going again. All right. So I want to, I want to get this right. Um, I pulled up Wikipedia because I want to get this quote right. Um, the, the game is basically a missed clone. And uh, they're not even, like, shy about it. They will actively admit this game. They were trying to make a missed clone. A missed, very big uh, puzzle game came out in the early to mid-90s, and Sierra wanted a piece of that sweet, sweet puzzle action. Um, so, according to Wikipedia, the game was conceived expressly as a missed clone. Lead designer John Bach later recalled that Ken Williams called me into his office one day, pulled out a copy of Mist, and said, Can you do this? I said yes, and the game went into development. That's how video games get made, people. <laughs> He acknowledged the similarity to Mist in promotional interviews for the game, but said it has some key differences. Yeah, this has a stronger focus on the story, and it's like a creepy story, too. Um, I'm playing this in, I don't know when you're watching this, a wonderful viewer here on the channel, but uh, I'm playing this around October. We always do this thing called Let's Scream with Brigands, where we play creepy games. I thought this would be a very nice way to lead into that. But anyway, still have some credits here. I just love the idea of uh, Ken Williams walking into that guy. I just want him to like go and just keep going to that guy's office with different games. Can you make this? Can you make this? Just one after another, get the Sierra version of NBA Jam and Duke Nukem and Postal. I don't know. Shaq Fu. Going with a copy of Shaq Fu, Ken Williams. And then six months later, I don't know, you have... Kobe-nomics from Sierra. I don't know. I think missed opportunities there, but we got this game. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to play it. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, the puzzles can be a little obtuse. We'll see, uh, we'll see how we deal with it, but I'm excited. Gotta give some love to the musicians, of course. What do they say? Red at night, sailor's delight, yellow sky in the eve, S sky that looks like pe- I don't know. I don't know what they say. Is that a good omen or a bad omen? It might also be sunrise. I don't know. This is Oregon, I think it said, and the Oregon coast. So that's probably more of a sunrise than a sunset, seeing as we don't see the sun, but... All the people. There you go, John Bach, who we just mentioned. <laughs> and then Oliver Brelsford, just ruining the creepy intro that we just got right there. But there you go, more Davia. Eat your heart out. In terms of some creepy Sierra games. All right, let's start a new game. Oregon Coast, 1996. I was impatiently waiting for Nintendo 64 in 1996. That's not what this guy's doing. Oh, happy little baby. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> That's all you get. All right. So here we are. That's the context. There's the lighthouse. Let's save our game. Brand new save. Let's call it Lady for now until we get a bit more context. Maybe he zapped himself into an infant. Need a hint. Is this just going to like take me to a hint book? Like ad or something? Like, uh, yeah, all right. Drop 1995 on the official hint book. I think it's bright enough. Let's look at the picture here. 
Wild Oregon. Lovely. Got trees barely hanging on for life. Deer life, even. There's the uh, titular lighthouse. Just gotta love the creepy vibe. So we have a message. Let's play it. Hello, dear. It's, it's your mother. It um, seems like we never hear from you anymore. Well, don't worry. Your father and I are fine. And, and honey, when you get tired of living in that damp, chilly house, your room at home is still waiting for you. Oh, and oh, uh, make sure you're taking your vitamins and using that nice umbrella Aunt Selma gave you last Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay? I love you. Mm. Bye. That's Hello. Sweet. Remember me? Your editor? You're not answering your calls, are you? I'm getting tired of talking to a machine. I thought you'd be home writing, but apparently you're not. You know, I can't send out that advance until I actually see some of that story you're working on. Call me back. Why do you sound like a villain? What's with that voice? This is Jeremiah Crick. Something has happened. Something horrible. I have to leave immediately. I don't know how long I'll be gone. A Amanda is here at the lighthouse. I don't want to leave her alone. Please come right away. If you don't hear from me soon, it will mean that I have failed. And then... Oh, God, I just can't think of that now. There is no time. I have no choice. Please. You're the only one who can help me. Come now. That's the problem. The only problem with living next to a lighthouse, well, beside from the intermittent bright-ass light that keeps you awake at night, it's just, you know, you feel obligated to do all these favors and babysit for the lighthouse keeper every now and then, but anyway. All right, let's see what we can pick up, if anything. It does look like a salt house. <laughs> a salt shaker. Salt house shaker. What do we got here? Journal. January 10th, 95. I decided to get a house on the coast for the summer. Being away from the city will give me a chance to clear my head. That's always how it starts. Everybody needs to clear their head. Get some work done on my story. So we're a writer. I've been watching the papers and I'm going to look at a place next week. I hope it'll be the right one. I'm anxious to settle in and have some time to myself. Almost a week later, the house is perfect and the rent is reasonable. I can move in at the beginning of April. There's a beautiful view of the coast. It's five miles to the nearest town. There are some other houses in the area. The coast is rugged, and there is a sense of peaceful seclusion, or deadly seclusion. And it's been three months later. It's been a hectic three months, but I'm here at last. I unloaded the trailer yesterday. I'm busy with the details of moving in. I took a walk by the sea this morning. The shore is mostly rocky, but there are stretches of sand and pebble beach. I found a trail to the water, enjoyed wading in the surf. This is a truly beautiful place. There is even an old lighthouse a mile or two down the coast. A few weeks later, I'm settling into a routine and I'm beginning to write. I have met a few locals in town. All right. People seem friendly but tend to keep to themselves. The weather's been cold and wet, but I'm sure it'll improve by summer. Last night, I was surprised to see the light was operating at the lighthouse. It is an old place. A good place. A strong place. And I... Thought it was out of service. Luckily, it is far enough away to not be a distraction. Hmm. Two weeks later, I met the owner of the late house. I was walking on the beach. Came across a man out with his baby daughter. His name is Jeremiah Crick. And he is kind of a professor. Some kind of professor. He purchased and renovated the late house. He seems to be a fascinating character. He repaired the light and runs it on stormy nights. Just... By his own, like, does anyone asking him to? Does anyone need that? The ship's appreciated, I guess. My writing is progressing well, and the weather is warmer. I go to town twice a week for supplies. I saw Dr. Crick last Friday. He was with his daughter again. He calls her Mandy, but her real name is Vanessa. It's very strange. Now her name's Amanda. He seemed glad to see me, but he was in a hurry. He could only talk for a few minutes, but I held Mandy while he loaded his truck with bales of wire. In this isolated place, it's good to find someone to talk to. 
June 5th. Things are progressing with Mr. Crick. I woke last night to lightning and thunder. It was late, but the weather was awe-inspiring. I sat up for more than an hour and watched the storm. I think I saw St. Elmo's fire at the lighthouse. The light was on when I awoke, but went off at the peak of the storm. I saw a bluish halo around the top of the tower. It lasted a few minutes and faded away. How long does this go on for, by <laughs> I'm not going to read everything in this game, don't worry, but... Just part of the immersive. We're getting caught up to speed here. On my errands in town this morning, I bumped into Dr. Crick at the post office. Mandy was fussy, so we went to the diner to get her some milk. We had a good talk over our coffee, though when I asked about his work, he gathered up the baby and left in such a hurry he forgot to leave money for his tab. I'm kind of bitter about it still. Oh, I'm sorry. I was happy to pay it. However, as Dr. Crick and his daughter provided the most pleasant company I've had in weeks. Listless and uninspired. I've taken the long walks exploring tide pools and coves nearby. It's hard to believe I am uninspired in such a beautiful place. For the last week, I've been unable to write, but I know the story will come. And that brings us up to now, the first day of uh, summer, I suppose. Okay. Flowers. Wild Oregon. Not that wild. We've gotten here. My trusty smooth rock. Oh, my lighter. Sweet. Ooh. There we go. All right. Be ready the next time a power ballad kicks off. Oh, there's the umbrella that our aunt got us, right? Nothing special about it, but still good to have. Doesn't want to open indoors, I understand. Check this other drawer here. Handy. Got the bag. Oh, birds. Interesting. Thought we were looking at a forest for a second. Oh. That was meant to happen. I thought the game was crashing already. Just in case, let's save again. Lady! I'm gonna go far with that name, I can tell. Alright. Open the umbrella here. Keys in the car. Oh, okay, that's us. <laughs> Thought we had lo were locking the door. It's like, that's the exact opposite of what I want to do. All right, let's head down to the lighthouse and see what's going on. He left us that message. Who knows how long ago it's been. Sierra presents... Lighthouse. Is that the full title? That's all it said on the title screen. They thought that would be enthralling enough for Sierra consumers. Don't want to overly stimulate them by adding in the dark being on the title screen or the box. Or we just assumed it was going to be a lighthouse simulator or something. Whoa! Okay. That's why you don't crank it to 11, Dr. Crick. Might as well go through his mail. He's got some outgoing mail, looks like, here. What's he trying to send? It's a very rude and illegal thing to do, but whatever. Can't do anything more with it for now, I guess. Should I put it back in? Nope. It's just stuck in our pants forever. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I agree. If you can carry it around, put it in your pants, go ahead and do it. All right, let's go to the house here.
Dr. Crick? It's your neighbor lady. Got your message. Maybe we could, ooh, that's a nice shot right there, the car. I suppose we could try looking for a key under the doormat, Maniac Mansion style. Can I like walk? I don't wanna like leave. Here we go. Gonna have to get used to the orientation here. I just wanna check that. Aha, uh -huh. all right. Variation on the doormat, but that still works. Key is a key. Endless pants pockets. Yeah, that is the beauty of a Sierra game. All right, let's see what we find inside. I guess we could, can we just open the door now, probably. Let's see, uh, doing a lot of clicking. trouble with the key. Don't mind me. Harder than it looks. Alright, it must not be for this door. Let's see what else we can see. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is. Yeah, we had the wrong key. Never know when you might need a padlock. Do you want to take that? Padlock could come in handy when the dark being is wandering around. I'm not trying to close that. I'm trying to investigate what we have in here. Crowbar. All right. So I can't fix the fuse box here. No. Well, let's see if that took. <laughs> Try not to make this too frustrating for you. <laughs> I like the art style, though. It's very simple, but you know what? It's conveying what it needs to convey. Were the lights on? I didn't happen to see. Oh, they are on now. Okay, that's good. Well, I'm going to pry the hell out of this door. Well, I'm glad the lights are back on, if nothing else. Aha, there we go. Yeah, get ready for a lot of that. Am I relieving myself in that pot? Oh, we're moving the pot around. Okay, I gotcha. There's the key. All right, so variation on the doormat. All right, this has been coming for a while. Let's open this door already. Oh, thank God. There's that classic Sierra door opening sound. Doctor? This is study. Quite the collection for me to pick up, apparently. I love how the protagonists in these games always know exactly what to put into their pants. But like, yeah, a bunch of shells, yeah, skull, I don't think so, I'm not weird. <laughs> but you know, you never know when you might need 
someone else's mail. <laughs> or that. What did we just pick up? Oh, is this like everything else in our inventory? That's handy. Ooh. I feel like we bought this in Silmaria. <laughs> you have been summoned to the Hall of Kings. I like that guy. Remember that guy that Kiko Pukinos or whatever that died on like the first day? Poor po po Pukino or whatever his name was. I don't even know his name. Hello? Oh, not the thing I thought I wanted. Oh, that's so animated, like something we could pick up. Good luck, way. Let's try this on the letter, right? I'm just trying. Is that not a pen knife? Hmm. Okay. Ew, creepy. He certainly got his taste. Kokino Pukamiso. That's that's that poor bastard's name. Thank you. What do we got here? Ooh, some sort of tissue box. <laughs> Very ornate tissue box. Man takes his allergies very seriously. Oh, we can spin it around. That was the uh, Space Quest 5 sound effect when you're like, you're uh, trying to decloak the ship. One of many puzzles in this game. Not ready for this, clearly. Nice. Alright. Well, we'll come back to you, weird self spinning box. I like it, though. I like it a lot. What else we got in here? Fire is still going in the fireplace. Oh, she's pretty. <sighs> kind of looks like Olivia Wilde a little bit if she had like lighter hair maybe. Maybe in high school. She was dyeing her hair. What does he got up here? Is that, up? is that part of the kitchen? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a whole rack of pills, but it's spices and such. <laughs> Bunch of books here. Any of these interest lady? Did pick up a compass. Might come in handy later. By which I mean it will come in handy. Oh, we're just leaving that up. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I don't know. For now. That's fine. We're not using this part of the screen for anything else right now. Use a snack. Is there going to be a head in here? Like, police... Qu Mandy? Wait, there's no Chinese restaurants around here. He make that box himself? Mandy! Where's Mandy? North American Standard Oil Tank. That's a hell of a company right there. It's like she knew I was taking her milk. You in here, Mandy? What the shite? Holy! Wait, take her milk? That's irresponsible. Jump in? Whoa! This game just went off the rails pretty quickly. Hi? 
Dr. Crick, I presume? Man, we're playing this the right time of the year, that's for sure. Wasn't expecting a jump scare so soon. Where are we now? And that's the sound of when we're flying around on our airship in Silmaria. It's gonna be a while before we get back. All right. What do we got here? Okay, got, got one of those dealies. Like a sweet walking cane maybe, I don't know if it's long enough. Music's comforting and creepy at the same time. It's creepfurting. Wow. Erasmus? Seems like our, our options are rather limited at this point. Wow. Got to note that we can like look up on some of these screens and down on others. Pretty good at crane games here. Is this on its rails? Okay. And is that a is that a stop right there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. going down here. I feel like we can keep going, can we not? No? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Exit. Return to game. No! Version of this. Okay. Um, save often and save early, right? Sierra style? Where were we, lady? I think we were in his house still. This was pre Dark Being hopping out. I'm in my house still? That's very Antonio like. Alright. Well, you know what? 
we can spend more time looking around now. And that's, in some way, will be, uh, will be good. All right, but note to self, let's not... Do I have everything that I needed from here this time? Let's save a lot. I went through my journal. I looked at the lighthouse. I guess we got everything. All right, looked at our weird painting. All right. You don't need to go through the portal if you don't want to. Yeah, I figured. I know there's like multiple ways to do everything in this game, which I appreciate, but uh, hopefully we can find one in a lot of these scenarios. All right, but I'm an old pro with this part of the game. Don't worry about that. Game's very non-linear. Score. It looks like I know what I'm doing. Oh, well. I'm gonna set a speed record for this particular stretch. Do this. Get the old crowbar. Get the old power back on. Something like that. <laughs> Mist, also known as. What does this switch do? Oh, yeah. Alright. Too true. But again, we gotta get to eventually, but... All in good time. Didn't even try knocking this time. We got the, the douche points, if that's a thing. Please don't crash again. Let's see if that holds. See if that has any effect. All right, let's go through his things once again. Hold on, did I not like pick? Hold on. Hello, wall safe. It's not Filch brand. Uh, right and the left click. Okay, so we're gonna need to find the combination for that. Really, that book isn't something we can pick up. Seems like it would be something we could pick up. Oh, I didn't get the letter from outside. Hold on. We need to make sure not to go into the kitchen prematurely, because we don't want to listen to that, that baby screaming for... Well, I guess it's still going to kidnap her. It's a sweet ride. There we go. Progress. Sydney, something urgent has arisen. I must leave immediately in the event that anything should happen to my person. Please see that Amanda receives my last will and testament. You will find it in the safe in my study. Oh, are we Sydney? Okay. 5, 18, 28. I'm assuming that's not a date a few years in the future from the time of my recording this, and that is the combination to said safe. 5, 18, 28. Thank you, Doc. A little uh, redundant, but... I promise you, we want to go in there, Sydney. I promise you. <laughs> Five, eighteen, twenty-eight, and I'm gonna save because I don't trust this game. Five, eighteen, twenty-eight. Let's see. Five. 18, 28, 20, 28, here I'm going to just spin it around a whole mess, 5, 18, No? 
It's like, you know, when, you, when, you're, when you're doing the lockdown at your uh, public YMCA and what have you. Um, uh, go past the second number. <laughs> Use kid on door. All right, five. Eighteen. Is that a problem that I did that? Eighteen. Twenty-eight. Shoot! -a! All right, hold on. Let's just give it a whole big spin. Five. Eighteen. Go around it all the way. All around the world. Twenty-eight. Uh. Right. Hold on. Let's let's do one of these. Okay. It is the money sound effect. We're betting right now. We're betting on how long it'll take me to uh, possibly beat this game. All right. Okay. Five. Eighteen. Going past zero. You like that? Oh, you love it! Give me those documents. Alright, what do we got? April, April 30, 7 a.m. Something unexpected and quite remarkable. There's the voice acting in this game. Midnight and peaked shortly before 5 a.m. The lightning was frequent and directly overhead. The energy cells charged quickly to maximum capacity. At 5.25, I made some adjustments to the power modulation parameters and turned on the machine. The Fresnel lens focused the massive waves of energy passing through the device. And as I had predicted, a distortion in space occurred before the device. To my amazement, the distortion began to deform. I stared in disbelief as the anomaly I had created burst like a bubble, revealing a portal in the fabric of space. Mm. Through the was. portal, I caught a glimpse of a rugged land, possibly a rocky shore, as I thought I saw water in the distance. Certainly no place around here, no place I had ever seen before. After just a few moments, a sudden power surge collapsed the energy field and blew the fuses. I don't know, glimpse of a rugged land with a rocky shore and water in the distance? That sounds like Oregon, dude. But I'll play along. Stunned by what I had seen, I sat in the dark, thinking and listening to the diminishing rain. Amanda's waking cry finally brought me to my senses. I do not understand what I have witnessed. The only explanation I can devise is that if indeed our universe is as a single sheet of paper, then there may be other sheets or universes layered with our own. If the portal caused the space-time continuum to fold, another universe may have been crumpled up alongside of this one. I must continue my experiments in this uncharted territory and hope for enlightenment somewhere along the way. My first task will be to modify the energy consumption so that I can control the gate and increase the time it stays open. Yeah, definitely at this point I'm like, you know what, man, if I do rescue you, maybe just check the yellow pages and hire yourself a babysitter next time don't call old Sydney old lady wait May 2nd 9 p.m. I have had limited success modulating the power supply and I am unsure how to stabilize the gate an hour ago I programmed the gate to stay open for six, six minutes. minutes it opened and I stepped through the sensation was strange, but not painful. I felt a strong pulling force, as if my body was stretching like saltwater taffy. The light brightened to an intense glare. My eyes blurred with tears, distorting shapes and colors. Gradually, the pulling subsided and my vision cleared. 
I found myself standing on the rocky shore I had seen through the portal. I turned and, much to my reassurance, saw the portal still open behind me. A large body of water was just visible at the foot of a narrow path. I... I... heard the muffled roar of the surf, though I was too far away to see the waves. Bending down, I picked up a rock. It seemed solid enough. Affected by a sudden nervousness, I dropped the rock and went back through the portal. This time, the sensation was one of being pushed almost violently, and I stumbled and fell to my knees on the laboratory floor. 82496. Could be a date, it could be a code. It was just a few weeks before the Nintendo 64 came out again. I was very excited. Oh, is that it? That's all we get? That's. Is that not something? Is that just shading? That looks like a check or something. Sydney want. All right. Fine. I'm never going to be able to get that thing open again. I hope that wasn't something I could have picked up. Right, let's make sure we get this bird again. And the shells. Which it looks like I immediately broke. Oh, no. It's just multiple little shells. Definitely not going through that portal this time. Right away, at least. Flip-flops. I think I already grabbed the uh, pen knife. Gotta save. Lots happened. Lots happened. It's always nice to have a uh, system. Alright, let's try this one more time. So Matthew. I didn't mean to. I would like to keep trying to figure that out if possible. He's like things I would think it would be like a situation where oh right click oh no not right click just do it in the right order Is that it? We like that? All right, now we can start moving stuff around. Excellent. Can we spin this guy? Okay. Hmm. This could take a while. This is snack time if you're watching this. Ooh, a button. Sweet. Oh, I was digging in for like a big puzzle. Oh, what's on the other side? the end all life button that feed Amanda button oh there's so many buttons on this thing what if it turns out this is just like the first ever fidget not spinner but fidget box god no we need to spend so much more time with this oh don't tell me this reset I will not be happy if I have to do that again Especially because I don't know what I did. Oh no, that's dirty. That is dirty. It was like, it wasn't that hard. It's like, there it is, oh my God. Fidget cube. Alright, I'm saving while we got the fidget cube on the screen. Yeah, that's fine. 
lot's still happening. That that title is still accurate. All right, what is going on here? What did that do? Did that just make it so that this is a button now? Okay, hit that button. Just blind luck. That's all that was. But I have a fun little key. Okay. Anything else? We got everything we need from the box. Yeah, save before potentially dangerous things and after significant progress. I'm calling that significant progress. <laughs> All right, we happy? Is that all we need? Oh God, wait, what? Something else is opening, what is this? What is this? This box is crazy. What do you got going on here? Just keep going, pull that thing up. What are we doing? Does this key work somehow in this? What is going on with this box, people? It's such a tease. What just happened? Ooh. This is when you just go home and you're like, ah, I don't want to be a writer. All right, circle, triangle, square, plus. What? What's that have to do with any of this, actually? Sounds like PlayStation buttons. These are such 90s colors. All right, that didn't happen before. Ooh, we're moving. Now all the green ones. All the, uh, it seems to like it when I hit all the ones of a certain color. Yahtzee. They probably dumbed it down after I struggled on that last one. They're like, just give it to him. Send him through the portal and get this guy out of here. 
Crowbar. Well, we've got the save game for it now. What's going on with this thing? Huh? Do I have anything that'll fit? Alright. Guess we'll come back. Remember Way said we wouldn't have something we would need for this part yet. Basically. <sighs> okay. I forgot there were other rooms. I forgot that my life existed outside of that damn slide puzzle. Ugh. Can't go any further. Thank you. I appreciate that. I won't. Yeah. Was that painting? No. No. No kitchen. Uh, there was one more combo in here, right? I said Heard it might. Muffled roar of eight twenty four ninety six. Sweet. All right. Getting my mojo back, one puzzle at a time. Even when they're super simple. <laughs> Fun. That's the Mandy's being bad cage. Just throw her in there. Ooh, what the hell is this? What? <laughs> wow, he's like a tie-dye guy or something. Power surge detected. System shutdown successful. Reset system to continue. Sure. Do it. Ah. So much for that. Fun. Just fun pushing stuff, isn't it? Okay. Probably not willy nilly. If we could turn on the main power, yeah. Huh, there's the uh, little hatch with the lighthouse there. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, is that in our inventory now? What? Just took that off, I guess. Oh, are we picking things up? Where are these things going? Sydney. Maybe we just need to replace those with a fresh tube and wire bit right there. Okay, I'm on it. Sydney, the writer, knows all about whatever the hell this technology is. May 25, 6 p.m. Perhaps I have been unwise in allowing the creature frequent access to my laboratory. Our mutual curiosity seemed reason enough at the time, but now I am uncertain. Since his first appearance, the creature has been waiting for me every time I activate the portal into his world. That's cute. He would watch me work or study the equipment, but he never touched anything or interfered in any way. I must have become accustomed to his presence because today, after opening the gate and watching the creature cross over, I focused my attention on my work. When I looked up from the computer, he was gone. Upon examining my equipment, I discovered that a power modulation tube was missing. Although the tubes yep. are expensive, That's it. <laughs> I have several spares, so the loss is not too serious. I am concerned the creature's motivation may go beyond mere curiosity. I'll say. Though his action does not necessitate curtailment of my experiments, I will restrict his access to my laboratory. And I'm going to go ahead and say he didn't take it very well. May 27, 3 a.m. 
I have built a cage around the portal so that the creature cannot wander freely about the lab. When oh. I opened the portal earlier this evening, he was not waiting on the other side. No doubt he realized that I must have learned of his thievery and hesitated to show himself again. I pretended to be absorbed in my work. After a few minutes, I caught a peripheral glimpse of a shadow crossing the portal into the cage. I turned toward him. The creature did not appear disturbed by the cage. He crouched on his haunches and stared at me without expression. Though I felt uneasy, I forced myself back to work. The minutes passed slowly. Finally, it was time to shut off the power to the gate. When I reached for the switch, the creature leapt across the portal. Obviously, he understands some of what I do and knew his escape route was threatened. We have been unable to communicate, but I am beginning to think there may be deeper, more devious aspects to his intelligence. June 14, 2 p.m. It has been over a week since I last saw the creature. He has returned less often since I built the cage over the portal. I think he has I a girlfriend. I am continuing my work to stabilize the energy field. Thus far, without success. Now that I am not constantly watched by the creature, I have a revitalized energy enabling me to work straight through most nights. The lack of sleep makes me irritable, a mood that must be contagious as Mandy is unusually ill-tempered as well. I'm sure our new neighbor must think us both a bit peculiar, Yeah. our infrequent exchanges have been pleasant enough. Since Diana's death, oh. I have had little interest in such things as friends. Perhaps that is not entirely healthy, though now I have no time for such thoughts. I digress, probably due to my long hours. Hopefully, soon I will have results to show for my labors. It's nice everyone keeps such detailed diaries in these games. July 7. July 7. 11 p.m. A breakthrough. I added a new parameter which eliminated the instability factor. The equation now allows for the possibility of a permanent gateway, stable for an indefinite period of time. I am feeling ill, and I am afraid my lack of sleep is clouding my judgment. The final modifications on the equipment must keep until tomorrow morning. Yeah, slide puzzles make me irritable. July 7, 2 a.m. My worst fears have come true. <gasps> the dark being has somehow copied my device and has <gasps> created its own portal between the worlds. I am making money off the of it, franchising those things. Snap of the portal closing. That thing has been in my lab. It has stolen more equipment and, to my horror, my Damn. blueprints for the gate device. I am such a fool. I am preparing to follow it through. I will only have an hour before the gate closes, and I do not know where the creature has gone. I have been so blind, doing nothing while it has schemed to steal my invention. I must stop it. I must destroy its gateway into our world. Oh, dear God, let me be in time. You know, Professor, I don't want to nitpick, but it, apostrophe S, would be more of a possessive. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get, uh, let's, let's figure things out here. Anything else? Get some coil. What did we just pick up? A little soldering. Screwdriver, pencil, don't need that. Nope, we're gonna need a soldering iron. All right, so we got the tube, that's good. Can we get some wire? I need some wire. That looks like wire to me. All right. Not the wire I thought I picked up. Anything else? Just love it. I know what I need. Don't worry about that. In this case, we do need these two things. That goes there. It goes there. All right, hold on. This goes here. And this goes here. And then we go shoink and shoink. Look at us. We're scientists. So we're not a writer. All right, we good? I don't know if I want to go up there. We need to save. It's been way too long. 
been too long. Okay. Is this computer good now? Maybe we should go check the breaker box outside. That might have done something actually. Shoop. Good to go now? I don't know, it stayed on this time. I guess we're good. <laughs> Dark being open. Did you figure out the slide puzzle? Sounds like an orc. I hear something's on though. I hear power. It's fun buttons work now. I'm going back to significant progress. Work, damn you. <laughs> really? Is that all I had to do before? I'm gonna assume the power had something to do with it. Yes! Things! Kashork. Oh, okay, well, you know what? seems like a thing. I'm happy with that thing. Try that baby open. I mean, a bit more. Yeah, don't half speed this, Sydney. What are you doing? Oh, look. Look at all the jello molds he's got. I should have brought him one. That would have been neighborly. Wait a minute. He was here first. He should be bringing me jello molds. What is this thing? Is that a bong? Why does he have three? He doesn't have a lot of company here. Is that a bong? Understood. Oh, you'll get proof. I will. I will beat that slide puzzle. Uh, just smack it with your crowbar. That you, okay. I was gonna say that you got rid of. You're not doing it right if that didn't come off. Just smack at it like you're. Taking the piss, man. Come on. That will work if you know what you're doing. Oh. Oh, it did work. All right. I don't. Are we like on a time uh, stopwatch time clock? <laughs> stopwatch time clock. Very uh. Yes! Put a freshy, fresh one in. I don't know. Cool. Cool. No, definitely leave that plugged in. Whoa! Alright, we're scientists. Ooh, that's a nice view. Hold on. How could you be so bummed, Mandy, when you got this sweet view? Oh my god. What if you saw like a massive rogue wave just coming at you? That'd be terrifying. Rogue wave. Very stream of consciousness, these safe states. Computer, you good to go? What? 
Whoa. What else are we missing at this point? We've done so many things. No! My god, put that back. Wait, do we like that? Where's the computer now? No, I think we like that like that. Hey, she cried herself out. That's nice. Uh, is the computer meant to do anything? Are we just supposed to pop through that portal now? That looks all kinds of juicy and working. Yeah, that looks good. I don't know why that computer has got to bug up its uh, circuitry. Grab one more for the road. Yeah, I might need one in Bizarro World. You never know. Huh? Wait, how did that... It's weird. How did that become unplugged? Power surge detected. Done everything though, everything ever. Oh, that's why that became unplugged because I brought it back down here last time. It's definitely like make up your mind. All right, we gotta plug it back in again. Got a huge fan of the way we get around in this game. Is that, uh, is that apparent? Plug it back in. And it's got a dealy. Is, do I need another fresh dealy, maybe? It's still all kinds of lit up. I don't get it. Alright, so it's plugged in. It's got its bong we have a nice view oh my god I did the soldering else. Yeah, I don't know why the computer's still giving me grief. Power surge. I need to go back outside. Try messing with those things again. our lights we go inside when it's dark and extra spooky oh we can't go anywhere man I wanted to see the creature in the dark the dark being in the dark pop, pop, pop. I wish that guy was here right now drunk witness from police quest 4 to make some sense of all this like I heard the machine and went zap, zap, zap. Ah, 
on, there's one more thing. Hold on. Yep. You can't not hit that thing. What are you, stupid, Tony? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> All right. Try it now, you stupid. Tie-dye computer. Power modulator not responding. I might have to like go plug it in again or something at this point. Zap, zap, zap. Hold on. Old Sydney's gonna get right on that. Once he can find his way around the room for the thousandth time. Gig of RAM, not bad. Hey, this doctor's not messing around. They were probably, yeah, you can see it's unplugged again. They were probably like, let's come up with some nonsensical, ridiculous, might as well be infinity amount of RAM that no one will ever need to make it seem all future-y. Oh, so satisfied to finally do whatever this did. Yes! Hell yeah, let's do it. What? Yeah. Do not trigger after everything I just did. Unless he couldn't find the keyboard again. Why? Why ES? It has tripled my productivity, Marge. Big lever. Is that creature gonna show up again? Alright. Should I stay or should I portal? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.